like you guys to think about a few kinds of groups that you may have been a part of growing up, or if you have kids in them, or maybe you're in some of them now. This is uh, some actual pictures. This is the Oz Park Little League Association. This is the DePaul University Delta Gamma Sorority. And I thought this would be a hit with this crowd. This is uh, the Society of Safe Time Travel Guidelines. <clears throat> what do all these disparate groups have in common? Well, they, you know, they don't know each other, the groups themselves, from one to the next. But several times a year, they're, they're coming together to try to find a sponsor to support their group or event, their fundraiser. And the existing way they do that is kind of a drag. In Chicago alone, there's a million and a half participants in school-related groups, science fairs, field trips, PTA associations, the kids and parents. On college campuses, there's more than 200,000 college students that participate in fraternities and sororities and sports teams and other kinds of on-campus groups. There's also over 200,000 young and middle-aged professionals that are part of not-for-profits. They're also hosting fundraisers throughout the year. And uh, you know, sponsorship for all these groups, it's the lifeblood. They're looking for a business or a brand, if they can get a hold of them, to support their group. Sometimes they need fundraising donations. Sometimes they need custom t-shirts. And the way that they, they do this stuff now is uh, with bake sales and pounding the pavement and writing hundreds of sponsorship letters. Like I said, it's kind of a pain in the butt. We built Pair to make that process really easy. We make it super easy for groups to find the sponsor and for businesses to track their sponsorship spending and try to measure what they're getting out of it and turn it into a business driver. So no more pounding the pavement. No more calling Uncle Johnny and asking for a favor or some other business owner you know. We've, we've done the hard part for you. And uh, you know, on our site already, uh, we, we just launched a couple months ago, there are uh, over 25 sponsors, some brands and businesses uh, ranging from Verizon Wireless and Chips Ahoy to local, local businesses like uh, Union Sushi and uh, Massage Envy Spa that are providing over $100,000 of sponsorship support in one form or another for all kinds of local groups. They're really already there. So how does it work? Well, basically, we've designed it to, to be really easy to use. There's really no catch, so just to, to preempt the question, you're really just one click away from seeing all kinds of sponsorships that are available for your group right now. So whether you're looking for, oh look, here's EA Sports. If you're a youth sports team, EA Sports is offering up to $500 towards custom apparel, t-shirts or uniforms for your league. And the cool part about pair sponsorships, because we're gonna ask you to rally your friends and your fellow group members to go online and kind of earn points toward the sponsorship, you really make it a trackable win-win for your sponsorship partner. There's something in it for every participant too. In this case, it's uh, $20 off any copy, uh, copy of any EA game, including Madden. So let's say we're a sports team. We're going to pick EA Sports and uh, rally our group members. We'll have 10 days to earn as many points as we can. We can end it early if we want. When it's over, we just download this little certificate, and there's redemption instructions, depending on what kind of award it is, what kind of sponsorship support, for how to get your free t-shirts, how to get your fundraising donation. You just follow those instructions, and the stuff comes your way. It's like really that easy. So back to these guys. I mean, how cool is it that the Oz Park Little League can get sponsored by EA Games or Verizon Wireless or a local business that they're going to go to after the game and say thanks. And that business can actually understand what they're getting for it. So, uh, you know, I actually, I just have to say in closing, I, I knew this was going to happen. After we did it rehearsal earlier, I tried to go in the zone and not think about anything because I liked how, how it came out. And I knew Jason was going to come in here and just, you know, like, say something that was going to make me rethink and totally want to re-explain this in a whole different way. <clears throat> so uh, I was able to, to, to keep most of it the same, but I do have to say, you know, there are people in a lot of these organizations that, that search for sponsorship and pound the pavement as a full-time job. And uh, there are people, there are volunteers that, that do it just for their group on the side. Either way, it's really time consuming and it, it is a pain in the butt. It shouldn't be. So I guess, uh, you know, to, to uh, Clayton Christensen's point, next time you have to find a sponsor, just hire a pair to do it for you. <laughs>